So basically in the video that you're about to see is a Haitian family. He brings his brothers in and he actually talks to them in English and in Creole. One brother explains English or one brother can speak in English and Creole. The other brother can speak in English and Creole and the brother in the middle, uh, he speaks Creole. Um, and he, the, the one brother recording the video is asking the questions about eating animals, do dogs and cats and stuff like that. And I'll give you the short version of it at first. He asks them, do, do, do Haitians eat dogs and cats? And the, the middle brother that only speaks Creole that's fresh from Haiti was like, oh yeah, of course they do. It's normal. You, you can go, you can go into like 70% of the places in Haiti, the different areas where there's uh, markets and stuff like that. And they have cat for sale. It's something, it's a very, very, very common practice. And he says, so to, to think that they, with as popular as it is and as normal as it, as it is, is not, they're not doing it here, that's a lie. Uh, it's just Haitians that are having a problem with accepting the reality and truth. And the reason why they got so angry is uh, when Donald Trump said they're eating the dogs and the cats, they're not eating dogs. They're eating the cats, not the dogs. And he goes on to explain, you know, more about the culture and um, the two brothers that do speak English are like, we never had it before. We don't do it. But then he asks the brother in the middle, have you ever had a uh, cat? And he says, oh, yeah, plenty of times. No, yeah, it's just normal. And remember the video I put out not too long ago where there's Springfield, Ohio guy. He looked like he might have been like Latino descent, Latino American or something like that. Sitting on his front porch, and he was like, you know, three years ago when I moved in here, we had a huge um, problem with cats everywhere. And now three years later, then the Haitians are here, you don't see any cats. Any of these wild cats that were having babies out, you don't see any of that anymore. They're all gone. And that was in Springfield, Ohio. Here's the video. Let me know what y'all think. I am 100% Haitian. I told people before I had a video that went viral uh, about some of that subjects when it comes to Haitians eating dogs and cats. I'm joined today with a nephew of mine. Listen, family. We're talking about family, okay? His name is Mitchell. 100% Haitian, yeah. okay? Still speaks Creole. He's been around. He's been here for at least a couple more. Assume, 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 seven. seven months. Okay, so he's still learning how to speak English. He is legal, he came the right way, okay? <laughs> Did not go through the border. Okay, that's not what happened when it comes to his case. And I'm also joined with my brother. This is my younger brother, Stevens. So he's joining us today. So I have my, my brother, Steven, cousin Mitchell, and James, myself. Mitchell is gonna tell you the truth. Yeah. We, we're just gonna tell it, we're gonna tell it, we're gonna tell it to you. Okay, because when people are saying things and uh, there's a lot of lies and confusion, and I say, I don't know why we do stuff like this, right? Why we lie. Stop lying and tell it like it is and yet love your people, right? Let's just do that. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna have a dialogue. Me, I'm gonna speak with Mitchell and my brother also is going to share some thought, okay? So the first thing I wanna say is, Mitchell, is it true that Haitians eats cats in Haiti? I'm gonna ask him in Creole now. Est-ce que c'est vrai que Haïtiens mangent chat Haïti? Non, c'est pour ça. Ce sont vérités normales. Nous mangeons chat. Mais chien, on va on va pas bon par contre si gars c'est coupe mangeons chat. Mais chat là, ce sont mangeons naturels les vous. Okay, let me translate to you for you. <laughs> when it comes to eating cats, that's a very normal thing. He said. Wow. He says, when it comes to dogs, not really. There's not too many Haitians who have ever done anything like that. He's never seen it. But when it comes to cats, that's a very common practice in Haiti. Wow. This is his word. Okay. Uh, 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 tell us some more about this, Mitchell. Qui soit qu'a dit nous en en ajouter sur ça des des situations pour manger chat ça. Non, pas bon qu'il soit vérité. Les nous manger chat comme si et nous pas obligé fâché comme si l'on monde dit ah c'est manger chat. Nous manger chat comme si c'est pratique naturel lié. Et gien côté Haïti yo vend chat même pour manger ou gien côté Haïti soit aller ou besoin chat là pour manger y a vendre le normal yo garder chat mettre le cage ou aller faire pour acheter chat normal c'est comme si on côté acheter pour le manger pour essayer chat ça veut dire wow he said uh, okay he said when it comes to eating 
uh, when it comes to eating cats in Haiti, that's a very normal practice it's among a, Haitians. Mm. For people to say oh. that's not happening, that's a lie. Wow. It says even there are places in Haiti where you can go and you can go to a store and actually buy the buy cats. And you can, wow. you can just like you buy chicken wings. It's, I am 100% Haitian. I told people before, I had a video that went viral uh, about some of that subjects when it comes to Haitians eating dogs and cats. I'm joined today with a nephew of mine. Listen, family. We're talking about family, okay? His name is Mitchell. A hundred percent Haitian, yeah. okay? Still speaks Creole. He's been around. He's been here for at least couple more. Uh, seven, 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 seven. Six, seven months. Okay, so he's still learning how to speak English. He is legal. He came the right way, okay? <laughs> Did not go through the border. Okay, that's not what happened when it comes to his case. And I'm also joined with my brother. This is my younger brother, Stevens. So he's joining us today. So I have my, my brother, Stephen, cousin Mitchell, and James, myself. Mitchell is gonna tell you the truth. Yeah. We, we're just gonna tell it, we're gonna tell it, we're gonna tell it to you. Okay, because when people are saying things and uh, there's a lot of lies and confusion, and I say, I don't know why we do stuff like this, right? Why we lie. Stop lying and tell it like it is, and yet love your people, right? Let's just do that. Okay. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna have a dialogue. Me, I'm gonna speak oh. with Mitchell, and my brother also is going to share some thought, okay? So the first thing I wanna say is, Mitchell, is it true that Haitians eat cats in Haiti? I'm gonna ask him in Creole now. Est-ce que c'est vrai que Haitiens mangent chat Haiti? Non, c'est pour ça. Ce sont vérités normales. Nous mangeons chat. Mais chien, on va pas. Bon, par contre, si gars, c'est pour manger chat. Mais chat là, ce sont mangeurs naturels les vous. Okay, let me translate to you, for you. <laughs> when it comes to eating cats, that's a very normal thing. He said. Wow. He says, when it comes to dogs, not really. There's not too many Haitians who have ever done anything like that. He's never seen it. But when it comes to cats, that's a very common practice in Haiti. Wow. This is his word. Okay. Uh, 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 Tell us some more about this, Mitchell. Qui soit qu'a dit nous en, en ajouter sur ça, des de situations pour manger chat ça? Non, pas bon qu'il y a une vérité. Il y a nous manger chat comme si... Et nous sommes obligés de fâcher comme si l'on dit qu'il y a ici manger chat. Nous manger chat comme si c'est une pratique naturelle. Il y a des gens qui ont été en chat. Même pour nous manger, il y a des gens qui ont été en train de manger chat là, pour manger, il y a des gens qui ont été en train de chat, il y a des gens qui Wow, he said, uh, okay, he said when it comes to eating, uh, when it comes to eating cats in Haiti, that's a very normal practice it's among Haitians. Mm. For people to say yeah. that's not happening, that's a lie. Wow. He says even there are places in Haiti where you can go and you can go to a store and actually buy the buy cats. And you can, wow. you can, just like you buy chicken wings, where you can just go and buy it and purchase that, right? Wow. So, my question now is, for what reasons are Haitians denying this? Pour quelles raisons pensent les Haïtiens pas les dire que bagay ça sont bagay qui normal? Non, bon, même j'aime zoula. J'ai l'impression comme si Haïtiens pas d'accord le fait que vous dites cher, mais manger chat là sont bagay qui normal. Sans vérité lié. Comme si c'est ma propre sondage Haïtiens manger chat en général, bon, mettez 70 pour ça Haïtiens manger chat. Wait, wait. Yeah, I remember too much. Okay, this is. I think as a, I think as a, I, I think as a Haitian community, we need to start holding ourselves accountable. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we're doing something that's not right, let's just say it's not right. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not saying we are doing something. Like, some of us, maybe some Haitian do eat cats. Yeah. Okay, so they do. <laughs> like, but when you're gonna stop being mad about it, this and this and that, like, what's 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 the point you know what I'm saying? yeah yeah and I'm, and I'm tired like yeah we just need to hold ourselves accountable like why we come here anyway like stay stay in our own country and fix it fix it where in haiti do can you guys you're hearing the truth from haitians who are not afraid to tell it to you yeah, like yeah. you heard from my brother he's saying our people just don't want to hold themselves accountable mm. right and mitchell is also saying uh mm. one of the reasons why they don't like to do this is because haitians have a have an issue we have an issue of telling the truth uh, we don't like the truth and, and 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 unfortunately a lot of what you are hearing on the news they, they want to make it seem like that's that's not happening but here goes a haitian this is a common practice he he's says from, over 70 from, percent of haitians he just came from haiti too. he just came from haiti and he's telling you there are places where you can go and buy it like chicken wings and he says uh, over 70 percent of haitians Ooh, over 70 percent cats well he says as far as the dogs he says that's not really a common practice but when it comes to cats that's extremely normal wow. so now I'm gonna ask another question and I'm gonna ask it in English and then ask it also in Creole. The next question is, 
have you, Mitchell, ever eaten that? I want to say I've never eaten it. My brother's never eaten it. Mitchell is going to tell you the honest truth here. So, Mitchell, the question now is, est-ce qu'on pas jamais mangé chat dans la boue? Oh, manger chat, mon cher. Comme manger chat, il m'a dit, chat là, il pour son son vient naturel lié, même genre, ou à l'eau marché, ou dit, vend nous, vend nous poule. Il y a vend chat pour ça, ici. Mais comme son manger naturel lié, chat là, bon, je ne sais pas, 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 je Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's a mouthful. All right. So, Mitchell answers is this. Uh, of course, it's 100% normal. I've eaten chat many times in Haiti. It's like I said, just go. He said he has. <laughs> Amen is being honest. He's being raw. He's being honest. This is not a judgment zone. We just want to be honest. We are all Haitians. I've never eaten it. My brother's never eaten it. He says, yeah. I've eaten cats before. This is a very common thing in Haiti. Yeah, Just like going to a store and you buy chicken wings. It's actually a normal thing. You can buy turkey and stuff like that. Mm. It's the same thing. There are parts in Haiti where you can get that. So he says, uh, there's been times. There's been cats in the neighborhoods that we say, we're going to eat it. Right? And we just catch the cat and did what we needed to do and cook the cat. And we had ourselves some cats. It's, it's normal. That's, that's, that's mm. a common practice in Haiti. For Haitians to deny that, we're simply being dishonest. And he's, he's just telling it like it is. So, who else is capable to tell us about the history of the cat? Donald Trump, Vinzi. For example, I'm going to ask the question. When Trump asked the question, said that people are eating dogs and eating cats, why do you think all Haitians are mad about that? For what reason do you think that Haitians are fashy because Donald Trump said that he was eating cats and eating cats? No, I don't know. Okay, he said the only reason Haitians are mad is uh, about what Donald Trump said is because of the dogs. Not they mad about the dogs because the eating of the dog is not a common thing for Haitians to do. That's what he said. Oh, yeah, I mean, I do believe. I mean, I don't believe like the dog parts myself. Yeah, you know? yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't believe Haitian eat dogs. Yeah, I don't think that's something. That's definitely not. Like a common thing Haitian do. That's not common at all. Mm -hmm. I've been around people who've eaten it, just like my my cousin. My, he's telling you, I, I've done, he's eating it. I, I've been I've been around people in Haiti, and I've lived in Haiti the first fifteen years of my life. So I know people who are Asians <laughs> who said, "Listen, we mm. we just had some 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 cats earlier, some cat meats, and it's really good." They admitted to it. Fact that a lot of Haitians don't want to admit this. It maybe it's political. Maybe it's because of Donald Trump. Maybe it's because of the media. But the fact of the matter is, it happens. <laughs> it happens in Haiti. It's a common practice, and it's still going on in Haiti. So to say that Haitians cannot do this in Springfield, Ohio, I, I think we're just being very dishonest.